am a healthcare professional. I work outside of a hospital, typically in a small mobile emergency room called an ambulance. I am often the first healthcare provider on the scene to treat an injured or sick person. I may be the difference between life and death. I must be able to work independently, often in a very stressful situation. I must make quick decisions about what is important and what is not, while providing treatment to my patients and keeping them safe. I must be knowledgeable about a variety of safety situations and rescue techniques. What's in the side here, normally the EMT or paramedic, this is one of the, the places that they will be sitting, the patient lying right here in front of you. And this is where we do most of our work. This is basically a mini emergency room on wheels. First thing we would do is check out the aircraft to make sure that it's clean. We have all our supplies that we need. Check off our medications, make sure that those are all correct, and again that we have everything we need to take care of our patients. The most challenging part of this field is knowing what to do when you're put in an emergency situation, knowing you know that certain things you can do can make the patient better, whereas there's other things you can do that can hurt the patients. It's something new every day. You see all kinds of things. Uh, it's always changing and it moves fairly quickly. And EMS it is very demanding on your body. We are getting in and out of an ambulance. Also, we are carrying patients. You might be carrying a patient down a flight of stairs, so you're bending a lot, you're lifting a lot. A lot of times when you have the patient, you want to let them know that you're there to help them and that you're there to make the situation that they're currently in better and that you want to transport them, so you're comforting them. But a lot of it has to also do with comforting the people around them. These are just basic tools that we'll use, a stethoscope, as well as your blood pressure cuff. You see people on the streets years later to come up to you. I remember you, you were there at the house when I was sick. You know, you, you helped me through my situation and I can't thank you enough. It, it, it has a 